having a good time with Mike Abroad. He has his own YouTube channel here in Kosovo as well. And I'm here with Chris from Planet <laughs> Papas. He also has a YouTube channel that uh, is doing very well. Uh, is it like, up to like 5,000 subscribers now, something like that. 4, and he does a lot of walkie tours around yes. Samui and just shows people a good time. And Mike is shy of eight, so we got to get him to eight for sure this week. Oh, I'll get there. Well, of Don't course you will. Worry. Cheers to that. Cheers. <laughs> so yeah, right now we're over at the Red Elephant, which is a relatively new bar restaurant here in the mine, like beach club, basically. Yeah. And uh, this is a great spot. Uh, I've got a very, you can't see it in the video, but it's got a very nice view of Lamai Beach from here. For sure, for sure. Beautiful weather today. So and, with Mike, uh, you just want to say where you're from, what you do, where, what's your background? Sure, uh, from the U.S. USA, USA. USA. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I've got a background in computer science. So I went to Michigan State University, got that wrapped up in 2017. And uh, with, you know, I was living in Austin, Texas for many years, doing various things like uh, I was getting into aerial photography, real estate, um, programming quite a lot too. And then eventually I started traveling. I, I was traveling through Central and South America and then I kind of got the travel bug. That's it. Yeah. And uh, then, It didn't stop. Then it didn't stop and now <laughs> I went to Bali and came to Thailand. I've been here for four years now and, and loving it. How about you? The same, but different. I'm from originally from Canada, mm -hmm. living here, uh, lived in Canada, then moved to Australia, the UK, Cyprus, and now in Koh Samui. And we love it here very much, and we've been here coming since 2008. Every year was first time, one time, then two times a year, then three times a year. Uh -huh. That's what we said. It's time to move here, and definitely we've been here for the last time. couple of years, full time. Full time. Full time. And love every day. But you still travel around a yes, bit so as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah, we get to Cyprus. see. Yeah, we went to Cyprus a few times last year. Uh -huh. um, cool. Trying to get back to Canada, trying to get back to Australia. I'd love to do that. But there's so much to see in Thailand and Asia. We got to do it. We got to see it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I still haven't been back to the US for over four years. <laughs> and I just do whatever it takes to stay here. I know. Because I love Sanui. I mean, I did go to Philippines and Vietnam for over a month, and that was fun. I, like, I got to experience some new cultures, meet new people. So you hear that? Coming back to Thailand, oh, he didn't great. want to go home. Great. He went to Thai other places instead. Yeah, that's exactly. the feeling you get here. It's just like so easy. Yeah, it's and such Vietnam, a great home. And Vietnam, in particular, is dirt cheap. It's just everything is super cheap. Yeah, the food, the, the beer, the coffee, yeah. everything. Yeah, on the positive side, people are super friendly. They all speak English. And you would like it too for YouTube. Definitely. Love because love to go there. even when you're just walking down the street, people are waving. Oh, like, nice. Are you vlogging? <laughs> They're so happy to see YouTubers in their country. Yeah. So that, that was a lot of fun. So where do you what part of Samui do you live in? Right here in Lamai, baby. He's in Lamai. Right here in Lamai. We have a Lamai boy here. He loves it very much. It's great. Eight <laughs> minutes from this beach. Um, been living here two years now. Okay. Kind of settled in now. Got a routine going. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's great. And then you? Uh, we actually are in Mainam at the moment. Uh -huh. We'll be looking at that, but we're looking for a place as well. So. It's going to be an adventure to stay here forever, definitely. Sure, it's a sure. retirement place and we have a retirement visa, so we're going to be happy doing that awesome. forever. And I love it because it's going to be a hub, even if we are tired of Samui, which we won't be. Uh -huh. We have a great place here where we can go easily to anywhere in Asia, everywhere. So easy. It's yeah, good. Kuala Lumpur, I'm pretty sure they have direct flights. Definitely have Samui. to go to Malaysia. You live to Malaysia. I, I Just for a border run. I was in Penang. The visa I, runs. Yeah. I hated it. But you guys yeah. to do it. I just went to immigration yesterday, extended it again, oh, and then I'll have to do another border run. But I need to get this shit figured out. Like they're now, <laughs> they're now coming out with a, <laughs> yeah, you got better visas now, Thailand great visas visa, at the moment now. We got six month visas, yeah. stuff like that. So it's a good opportunity. Not official Thailand. yet, but soon, no, right. soon, probably early next month. Okay. I've made some videos about it on my channel. Which you there you check go. Out. You have to watch that. Yeah, he does more of that. I don't do much of that. So you should. You know, I should. I should get to know the people, rules and people like how things this work stuff. here. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. We love that stuff. So we um, do the same thing exactly. We both walk around all of Samui. We both live here. Yeah. So you're gonna yeah, get yeah, two yeah. different types of videos, but the same place. We don't get upset with each other. We love it when we go to each other's yeah. place. He'll be in Lamai one day. The next day, I'll be in Lamai. So we're just watching each other's videos. No competition. No, not at all. And we just have a lot of fun because this island 
Yeah. We just want to share with everybody. Exactly. That's the number one exactly. thing. Okay. Well, what else should we talk about? I don't know. This is all unscripted. Yes. I'm yeah, probably not going to do any editing. No. Uh, we might get rid of a little bit of Philippines part, but that's it. Um, so today is June and it is gorgeous. It is. It did, I think, for the last two weeks, it's been very low season. Yeah, yeah. Low so season. That really recently. I was just in Tuang yesterday. I did a walk into a video, which you can watch on the channel. Perfect. And it's just like. There's almost no people. The resorts are still like semi occupied, okay. but not not much going on in Chuang right now. <laughs> a lot different than it was just like a month ago. Right. See, so we got seasons. Well, that's seasons. probably good for people as well. Yeah. If you like to be yeah. alone, perfect time for you to come. Exactly. All of June. And the weather has been amazing. Amazing. It rained, it rained last week uh -huh. during the day one day, and that's it. Yeah, we'll do so the weather report every day. Weather report every day. 60 seconds, so if you want to know about the weather in Samui, every day, day like the work. Every day. Wow. I'm going to do it for a whole year. So if everybody always asks me, what's the weather like in June, July? <laughs> you can just go back into Planet Papa Shorts and see, go back uh, to June, and just watch the whole month. That's so a good idea. Yeah. Oh, there we go. White night. Tonight, tonight. 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 <laughs> An event you cannot miss. <laughs> Every Saturday in Lamai, yeah. actually tonight, is the free uh, boxing. They the, do it in the, the middle of the night. The, yeah, the there are lady boxes as well, but there's been boxing as well. It starts at 10 30 night mm. every Saturday night in Lamai, right wow. beside McDonald's where the square is. Maybe we so you're going to see all the pink bars there, uh -huh. or the lady bars, but yeah. right in the middle there's a ring. That's the sexy sex bar. Yes, sexy sexy bar. <laughs> for you, what is your favorite restaurant here on Costa Ah, that's a tough one. Yes. But we actually like this place, or we like this place called Mr. Pong. Mr. Pong, yes. Mr. Pong, you Which know is, Mr. Pong. He's uh -huh. not, he's in Lamai, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, right on the here. Ring Road. Okay. And uh, I haven't been there yet. We should go. Yeah, they've got. They just renovated the place, so they've got like uh, both sides. It's very, very nice. They got all sorts of different types of food: there. Western, okay. Thai, pizza. You name Mr. it. Mr. Pong. Mr. Pong. It's actually called Roti Patal. That's the oh, really? Thai <laughs> name for it. There's so many options there to are, choose from. That's the thing. You're, if you there's don't, so there's, there's more restaurants than people here. <laughs> that's what it is. It's just non-stop. Anything you can have here is here. And what about entertainment? Where would be your best Ooh. place you've been on Samui? Even visually, like overlooking, oh, mm. anything like that. There is a really nice place called Nine Point, okay. which is in Lipanoi. You, you should go there sometime. Okay. Beautiful it's for sunset nice and you can see the five islands. Really? But it's usually yeah, nice. super and there's like nobody there. Okay. So it's well, nice. Don't tell anybody. Don't Keep tell it to too ourselves. many people. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, green mango in Chuey. Yes. That's a very crowd place pleaser. Go. Yes. Don't go there very often. But, uh, <laughs> That's where you end up at fun. the end of the night uh -huh. if you've been busy all night drinking coconuts. Yeah, yeah drink coconuts. <laughs> so. yeah. We haven't been here for the past couple of years. Our car put over at least a million. American dollars in it. Oh, it's it amazing. Incredible. Amazing. Really, if you don't, even if you're older, it's 50, 60, 70, it's a good place just to check out for the night. Mm -hmm. We do fire shows as well till 10 p.m. And then after 10, you have to be over 20. Yeah. I know this stuff because I go in the strip all the time. So here's but, one for uh, you. Ever yeah. been to the air bar? Air bar, yes. Okay. Once. Yeah. Did you Only like it? once. Okay. Beautiful. Uh, place. But yeah, that's, that, that, this is ranked as like one of the top places you have to visit before you die. Yeah. Oh, was Apparently. it? Yeah. Okay. It's right. in the list. And uh, if you visit the place, I think you'll see why, because it's just uh, stunning. Yeah, Air Beautiful bar, for yeah. sunset. Yeah. Air it's bar, part of Intercontinental. That's it. Yeah. Intercontinental Hotel. Resort. Yeah. You park downstairs, they give you a buggy up, and you just overlook all of Samui. Wow. I Incredible. went there for my 37th birthday, actually. Happy birthday! So, <laughs> treated myself to the nice... Did you have dinner? Great. No, no dinner, okay. but just drinks. I was going to say how the food is, but I haven't eaten there either. I don't know. There are a few yeah. places that we're not going to mention because we like to keep them local. Uh -huh. So when you come here, we'll tell you, but we won't <laughs> tell you on the line because we want to keep them, you know, your local secrets. We like to call it. For sure, for sure. The number one other place I love so much is definitely going up to the Jungle Club. Ah, uh -huh, Jungle Club, yeah. yeah. Really go good food. There. You definitely have to book to get the Jungle Club. It's always packed. But now it's low season, right? So probably you should be able to get it, yeah. But even last two weeks, uh, we had uh, subscribers here and they tried to get it. It took me seven days. To get seven it. days? Yeah. Wow. So Jungle Club is a great place, but you got to make sure you you get ahead. The view is just yeah. stunning. It's unbelievable. And you can sit there all day. It's amazing. Yeah. 
And then there's also the roof. The roof. The roof. Very there's nice a little, place. Well, maybe we shouldn't say it because it's not so popular now. <laughs> it's harder to get up there. You do uh -huh. need a, a driver or someone to take you up there because the roads are really, really steep. There. Pretty brutal. Yeah, yeah. For the roof. Very, very steep. Nice. Now we're in Maine Nam, we love it there, great area. A lot of expats live out there, buy yeah, their homes there. Yeah, yeah. Really cool area. That's more closer to Fisherman's Village, around 10, 15 minutes. Great area, yeah. great area. I have a friend, he's also Canadian. Yes. Uh, good friend, Todd. I was just over at his house yesterday watching hockey on the... He has an underground <laughs> movie theater. Underground right here. movie Yeah, I'll have to introduce you okay. But uh, yeah, well, I'm not a big hockey fan, but he's like really into it. So of course, I he's Canadian. He loves that. Edmonton hockey. lost, but by well, one point. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's nice not to watch on a big screen. Yeah. You say you area? have to go one place or area? Okay, we'll give the it area. area. Um, well, I'm very partial to Lamai, but I mean, there's not. If you're, it depends on what you're looking for, right? Yeah. If you're looking for like nonstop entertainment all the time, then probably Chilang. Lamai is a little bit more slow paced yes. yeah. lifestyle. Kind of more geared for families and couples, yes. I would say. I noticed Lamai as well is more, uh, they know you. Yeah. They get to know your name, uh -huh. how you are, where you're from, your background. When you come back again, they remember you. But Shuang is a lost cause. Mm -hmm. you know, because it's so, you know, constantly. So touristy. Different. Yeah, too. so touristy. They don't remember you. It's like, oh, who's next? Who's next? Uh -huh. But Lamai, they sit down with you. Before you walk in, they know what brand of beer you drink or anything like that. <laughs> so that's cool. Guy's Kitchen, Love nice Guy's Kitchen. Her mom still yeah. works there. I think she's over 70, 80 years old now. Oh, I should she still does the cooking. Mm -hmm. So it's very authentic time. And they did a renovation recently, so it's very beautiful. It's right so, next to the temple in Amaya as you make the turn. I should go there more often. So what are some things that you really like about Samui versus, let's say, Phuket? The largest good island. Good question. It's like yes. a city island. What is the difference? Phuket? It is too overrated, too over, too many people. I, I didn't like yeah, the style yeah. or how too it was crowded. set up. Yeah, there is a place near the airport that's very quiet. I like that area. Okay, but when Bain I got off, yes, that's it. Bain Bain Town. Town. But when I got off the plane the first time ever in Koh Samui, as soon as we landed that plane in just the airport, we knew right away this was home. That's it's it. ranked as one of the most beautiful airports in the world. It is. Yeah. So you land on the, the runway and then a, a little shuttle will come pick you up. It's almost <laughs> like a resort. Yeah. It's like a luxury resort as an airport. Yeah. And when you leave Samui, make sure you go to the bathroom, the toilet. The toilet's beautiful. There's a big fish tank in there. It's like a five-star resort. Like, what is this? Beautiful. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Well, what about you? Is yours better being a bouquet? What made you pick? Come close to me over anything. Yeah, I've made videos about this too on the channel. Uh, fact, you got which are up there, but Phuket just uh, reminds me of Bangkok on an island. Too much traffic, too many people, polluted. <laughs> There's plenty of beautiful beaches there, don't get me wrong. But uh, it's like the big highways. I just like Samui because there's only one road. It's yeah. a ring road that goes around the whole island. And everybody knows that. You know the and ring road? Yeah, so I know where that easy. is. Yeah. So easy to get around. <laughs> they finally fixed the road that goes to Crystal Bay. It took like 10 years. Unbelievable, yeah. But well, the um, one in the big sea? looking fantastic. The one in front of the big sea was two years. Yeah, at least. that took a long time as well. They, the gradings on oh, the, yeah. the drainage. It took forever. It took a long time. But they got there, which is good. <laughs> But yeah, Plant Papas, he makes a lot of walking tours all over the place. Mostly Chihuang, it seems like, but many other places everywhere. as well. So it's so Mike. Check Mike out goes everywhere channel. as well. Mike actually is very good on information. So if you look for information on bees or anything yeah. like that, he's very good at that. all that sort of thing. Sure. I'm trying to make more of those where I basically I just do a screen share. Okay. And I walk through articles about different visa yeah. topics. And Sorts of things. Yeah. Always coming up with new ideas. <laughs> <laughs> we both are. Yes. We to make it yes. fresh. It's a small island, so you got to, you know, have some fun with it. Uh huh. Do you find yourself ever getting bored here? This is one thing. No. No. I think we no. get to a point where we've been here for so long. After maybe six months, we do a Bangkok run. Yeah. For maybe yeah. three or four days, and that's it. Sure. Come back, and then you feel refreshed again. Mm -hmm. You don't miss the big cities because it does have everything. You can have the cinemas. It, it has events that go on every time. Like. Even back home, there was not enough fence as much as here in Samui. Samui is always in something Canada? going on. Yeah, anywhere, really. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. always an event going on every weekend. There's something going on. There's always like a comedy shop or something. Maybe I'm, I'm just anything. not staying up to date with all of the events. Oh, right? like there I get you into go. routine and, okay. and then I just kind of like sit around a house or I... <laughs> <laughs> Is there a website or something where you can go to find the events? Um, like in Austin, we had a thing called Do 512. Okay. Which basically they had all the events listed 
There's got to be something like this. There is a so, uh, Facebook live. Yeah, Kosmoy Expats. My wife Helen's on it, and she does. She posts every day. Is that Kosmoy Expats? I think so, yeah. But she knows exactly yeah. what's going on every day. And she always sends everything every day, so that's why I'm doing to do that part of the channel, so you guys know what's going on. Okay. Well, while you're here, you see something, if there's a comedy event or yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. a big thing. Like last yesterday, all week, was the Red Cross event. Ah. And that was by the port, and it was huge. There was a big rock concert. It. Yeah, massive huh. rock concert last night. It was huge. There's no excuse to get bored. Oh, yeah. Even if you're tired, sitting around. There's always new bars opening up, on. new restaurants opening up. It doesn't stop. Uh -huh. Especially now, people are coming back. Mm. It's getting more popular. And tons of construction, too. Like, even on the road we live on here in the mine, there's just, like, so many cement trucks driving through and like new <laughs> villas going up everywhere. It's boomtown. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be exactly like Central Smoke. Wow. Yeah. And the skeleton's already up. They did and the they foundation. So fast. The skeleton's there. It's like what? And everybody's asking, what's gonna happen in December? I said, Yeah. I think it's gonna be done by December. <laughs> so quick when they have money. Incredible. And then you gotta hand it to the Burmese workers too. Wow. I think they do an excellent job. They're just like powerhouses. <laughs> They're just like things shooting up everywhere. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's, well, let's sum up for it's you. Samui, what does Samui mean to you? Samui is paradise. Samui. Just a paradise. Right. There's uh, really not too much to complain about. Just Samui is paradise. That's it. It has that whole feeling that you belong. Doesn't yeah. matter where you're from. Uh -huh. And when you get here, you land and you just change your face. You know, you're just like, that's it. Yes. Usually when you're, you're in the environment of other worlds, you kind of feel the scrunch face. When you get here, you just feel more relaxed. Scrunch so face, just, I like that. Yeah, you just melt. Uh -huh. And that's why I always say on my channel, you got to change your face when you come here. Yeah. And that's what you feel. It's just a feeling of, wow. I complain about. <laughs> no snow here. And no hurricane. Never no, hurricanes. No, no. <laughs> no, also no tsunamis or typhoons, unlike that's Phuket. Right. There's, there were like a few earthquakes. There Very was. tiny earthquakes. Yes, that will happen uh, a couple of days in a row. Yeah. I'm not sure what only a deal was with that, but yeah. we didn't feel it. No problem. No, I didn't feel yeah. anything. Oh. Oh. Don't Thanks forget so to subscribe. For watching. Sorry, don't forget to subscribe to Mike. Mike has a channel on YouTube called Mike Abroad. So make sure you click onto that and watch his videos. And don't forget to subscribe to Planet Papas if you're watching this on my channel. Um, great content. And very consistent too. Always, Always. put up. For both videos. of us. Yeah, That's the key with YouTube. You gotta be consistent. <laughs> Keep feeding the algorithm. Yeah, indeed. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Take See care. you soon. Peace from Thailand. <laughs>